Hi there. I just wanted to quickly go through these uh, these problems so that we can um, so that you can actually do them. Uh, so again, just to um, just to to uh, give you a quick uh, reminder. So we have n um, uh, molecules right there uh, coming in or electrons coming in, and our question is, what are the number coming out of here? Um, part a just asks us to, to do this based on our knowledge. Um, so we know going from here to here, so x and y are perpendicular to each other, right? So x and y perpendicular to each other, just like z and x or z and y. So we know that there's no, um, the, the x, these are, these are plus x electrons that are coming in here. None of the, those plus x electrons don't have any, um, any y orientation at all. Uh, and so they're just going to go 50-50 in the plus and the minus. Um, so, uh, so we know that only half of them are going to end up down here. Um, and so if we only have half of them end up down there, now they're, uh, this, this half are minus y's, all right, because they've come into the minus y side. Um, now, again, they don't have any kind of x orientation, and so only half of them are going to come out of here. So you're going to have n divided by 4, or one fourth of them are going to come out of um, uh, of of here that started over here. All right. So, uh, how do we actually show that? Uh, well, again, if you remember the probability of coming out of that plus x, all right, at the end is just going to uh, equal the. Um, so we first need to do the quantum amplitude. Uh, so it's going to be a plus x. It's going to be the minus y. Again, remember we work our way backwards through here. All right, so we do plus x first, minus y. Then we need to do the minus y onto the plus x again. All right. And remember that the probability is absolute value of the squared. So we have to square this uh, to get the right answer, just to remind you. Um, all right, so uh, the plus x is square root of 1 half. Sorry, let's just get these out here. Um, the, x, the plus x vector is um, square root of 1 half, square root of 1 half, the minus y vector is uh, square root of 1 half i, uh, sorry, minus i square root of 1 half. Okay. All right, so we get square root of 1 half, square root of 1 half over here. Our minus y is square root of 1 half uh, minus i square root of 1 half. We're going to multiply that by this one. Now remember, this is a minus y, but it's turned on its side, so there are two things that happen. First of all, we take the square root of 1 half, um, uh, and, uh, um, and so we, first we make it a row vector, but we also have to change the sign of our i's, and so now this is going to be i square root of 1 half. All right, so we have to do the complex conjugate. All right, um, and then the x is still going to be square root of 1 half, square root of 1 half. So again, just remember that this i has changed sign uh, because it's on the left side here um, and, po and pointing to the left. It's the row vector. All right. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and calculate that. Again, we just multiply these through. We get square root of a half times square root of a half, so we get uh, 1 half. Uh, and then we add whatever these two are. That's uh, um, minus i 1 half. If you actually multiply it together. All right, and then that's going to multiply these guys. All right, so we get square root of half times square root of half, so we get one half, and we get i square root of half times square root of half, so we get plus i times one half. Um, now, to actually get the final answer, we have to multiply these through. Uh, when you're doing, when you're multiplying, um, sorry, my green screen for some reason is 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 all messing up. Sorry, I hope that isn't too distracting. Um, uh, the um, uh, when we're multiplying these through, we always need to treat our i's separately from our our um, our main ones. So we can't just add these these numbers together. What we do instead is we do uh, uh, our normal distributive method for uh, multiplying. Um, if you remember how that works, basically uh, what you have to do is you have to first multiply these two, uh, then you do these two, then you do these two, and then you do these two. Uh, so basically, you multi make sure you multiply every one by the other one. So we get a one half times one half, so we get one fourth. Um, we get minus uh, i one half times one half, so minus one fourth. We get minus uh, so we get um, uh, sorry sorry uh, the second one we should do is this one uh, is one half times i times one half, so we get plus i one fourth. Then we get the minus i times one fourth, 
And then we get uh, the minus i one half times i one half uh, minus i times uh, minus i times i just gives us one, um, and one half times one half gives you a fourth. So what we're going to get here is these are going to cancel out because they're just equal to each other, and we just get one fourth plus one fourth, which is equal to one half. But again, remember that was just uh, the the quantum amplitude, we need to take the absolute value of this squared. Um, if we take the absolute value of 1 half squared, uh, 1 half squared is simply 1 fourth. So we get exactly the result that we expect, which is that we get n divided by 4, or a quarter of them are going to, um, uh, are going to uh, uh, get through, which is exactly what we got. All right, that's it for that one. Uh, uh, you can check out the, the other videos for the, uh, the second one and the third one that we did in the class.